Hi Penila, ich möchte von meinem Herz gratulieren. I think I, I feel like I always were a little bit better than my teammates when I was younger. I think she's a very complete player. Goal.com hat dich zur weltbesten Spielerin gewählt. Penilla Harder, that is world class. Have you got the award there, Penilla? Yeah, it's here. Okay. Let's see. Nice, nice. Of course, it's always nice to get this individual award. Like, it's a. Um, tells me that what I'm doing is the right thing and yeah that I'm on on the right way I think individual awards is more just like confirmation for what you have been doing for me it's more like every day that that I want to be good in training I want to be good in games that makes me motivated that I all, always want to, to develop you certainly are and um, we've got a few messages for you to show you uh, from two of your Wolfsburg teammates Du bist einer der besten Spielerinnen, mit denen ich jemals zusammen gespielt habe. Ich habe gesehen, mit wie viel, ähm, ja, mit wie viel Willen, mit wie viel ähm, Ehrgeiz du trainiert hast. Auf dem Platz äh, bist du wunderbar und äh, tolle Spielerin. Äh, ja, das war für mich eine super Zeit, mit dir zu spielen. Hast du diesen Titel auch wirklich verdient? Herzlichen Glückwunsch dazu. Ich hoffe, dir geht's gut und vielleicht sieht man sich irgendwann mal wieder. Und äh, ja, ich wünsche dir für deine Zukunft alles Gute, für deine äh, Saison. Ciao. Tschüss. To win these awards is all about the teammates. Teammates also. Uh, I had some amazing teammates in Wolfsburg and I had a really good time there. Um, two girls who sent me a message here. It's also two of the the girls that I, I played many games with, uh, Eva up front. Um, so it's it means a lot to get these messages from them uh, and hear the hear the words from them. I think definitely the way she leads the team. Uh, I would say that Hada wasn't maybe born to be a leader. Um, but she really takes responsibility and like on and off the pitch uh, and is has developed that skill like a lot and is really become a, a really great leader. Euro finals 2017 um, uh, I think she did play a really good game even though we lost um, especially her goal uh, showed a lot of quality and also a lot of heart. The Euros in 2017, um, that must have been a special um, moment for you, even though you didn't win the final. Um, like, how was that with the sort of, you know, experience in your career? And how, how was it handling, like, the lows and highs of that experience? Because you, 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 you had a disappointment, but the fans lined the streets as well. So how, how, was, how was the ups and downs of all that? Yeah, it was a, it was a great experience. Uh, we really brought the country together. And we, we changed the way many people in Denmark are looking at women's football. Suddenly, we really became the football darlings, <laughs> what you can say. Like, and it was it was incredible to feel that uh, support from the from the country, especially when we came came back home. Even though we lost the final, there was so many people uh, welcoming us when we came back. Um, since 2017, my career had just been going one way. Uh, starting for me to move to Wolfsburg and then the Euros where we as a team did good and I also individual did good, uh, people got to know me and then since then people have had their eyes on me and see, saw what I can do on the pitch. How important was the Wolfsburg phase for you, of your career? Um, you guys were always in and around the end of the Champions League, um, you're a very strong team, 103 goals in 113 games for you, um, how, how, how much did you develop in Germany? Yeah, I de developed a lot. Uh, also just to be aware of what I can do, to see that I can do it on the highest level also, not only in link shipping where I played before. And uh, yeah, over the three years, I also got a lot of responsibility in Wolfsburg and uh, that, that also helped me to, to be a leader. Uh, and to develop and um, playing with a, a really good team also uh, winning 
for championships in Germany and cups also. So yeah, it was a good step for me in my career to go there. From my time in Wolfsburg, I, I was when I came there, I was more like a talent, and then I came out to be one of the best in Europe. Uh, I won the yeah the title UEFA's player two times during my time in Wolfsburg. So it shows that the transformation from me being a talent to uh, what can you say like a big player in Europe. You grew up in Ikast, a small town, uh, right in Denmark. Uh, what do you remember growing up there and playing there? Oh, I remember playing a lot in the garden uh, with the other kids from the street. Uh, but then also remember, yeah, my first time, some of my first times at training in the small club, local club. Uh, yeah, it's only good times. It's uh, all these times where in my spare time, I just was juggling with the ball or playing some 2v2 in the garden with the other kids. And why, why did you fall in love with football? Was it like your family? Was it your coaches? Was it like the club in itself? Like what made you fall in love with it? I think I just fell in love by playing football. I love to play, I love to score goals. Uh, but of course also the social part of it uh, with the other, yeah, the other kids. And then my family is a football family. My mom and dad played football, my big sister also. So it was just, just in the blood. I watched my sister play a lot and then I also remember watching my dad playing old boys <laughs> uh, but uh, not my mom she stopped before she had some injuries but uh, yeah there was a lot of times where I was out watching my big sister play. My dad is a huge Manchester United fan actually so I'm growing, I was growing up with watching Premier League. When did you realize you were good? I think I, f I feel like I always were a little bit better than my teammates when I was younger. So I, I think I knew it quite early that I, I had something and I also got some high ambitions quite early uh, that I wanted to be professional when I grew old. So, so I guess like, you know, when, when you met Magda, she kind of changed you into a Chelsea fan. Um, how was that experience in the family with your dad and everything like that? Yeah, that's a, that's a, a weird situation for him. <laughs> but now, also now when I play in Chelsea, he, he's supporting Chelsea on the women's side and, and United on the men's side. <laughs> that's a, and he, he actually also will get his first Chelsea shirt. See if he, he wants to wear it, but uh, I will force him to. And how have you found being at Chelsea on and off the field and, and being in WSL? Yeah, it's really professional here in, Bol uh, in, Bol in Chelsea. <laughs> uh, I can't complain about anything uh, Yeah, around the, around the team. It's very professional uh, and the players are amazing players. So I, I'm happy here um, and the, the league is very interesting. I think it's very competitive and I think that's that's fun to be a part of. And you said kind of you wanted to be the best player in the world. You, you arguably you are now. How would kind of the little girl version of uh, Panila look at you now? Would she have been really happy with how the journey's gone and, and where you're up to? Yeah, it has been it has been going according to plan <laughs> to say it like this. So yeah, I would have been uh, I would have been very happy to to see who I am now. The most difficult part is maybe to to keep being the best and stay on top and not being satisfied and satisfied with what you have been doing and then just say yeah that was it so that's what motivates me to to keep keep on being one of the best <laughs>